You might have noticed the SPDIF ports on your TV, your PC, your games console, your soundbar, and even your music gear. And you might be wondering what they do and how to connect your devices together. So let me explain. The Sony Philips Digital Interface, or SPDIF, or SPDIF, is a type of digital audio connection. It can carry either two channels of uncompressed audio, most commonly a stereo left and right pair, or compressed 5.1 and 7.1 audio used in surround sound systems. SPDIF can be transmitted using two different types of cables. Optical cables with toslink connectors, or coaxial cables with RCA connectors. SPDIF, especially the optical type, is commonly found on consumer entertainment systems, such as TVs, games consoles, PCs, and soundbars. And all you need is an optical toslink cable to connect these devices directly to each other. Keep in mind that SPDIF ports often might just be labeled as optical in and optical out. Some devices, especially newer TVs, only have a digital SPDIF output. So if you want to connect them to an analog hi-fi system, such as an analog amplifier with passive speakers or active powered speakers, you're going to need a digital to analog converter, also referred to as a DAC. A DAC accepts a digital input and converts it to an analog stereo out. You can then connect this to your analog system. We'll put some links in the description for the kind of cables you might need for SPDIF connections and also some examples of basic digital to analog converters so that you get a basic idea of what things you should be looking for. Now, there's also a place for SPDIF in the recording studio. You can find both optical and coaxial SPDIF on a lot of audio interfaces, and it's a very useful and commonly overlooked connection. With SPDIF, you can connect your digital synthesizers, guitar effects pedals, modeling amps, and other outboard digital effects units directly to your interface bypassing the need for two extra steps of pointless digital to analog and back to digital conversion, while also freeing up the analog ins and outs on your interface to be used for actual analog connections. One thing to take note of though is clocking. All the connected devices must be synced to the same master and operate at the same sample rate. Depending on your setup, this master clock source could be your interface, one of the other digital devices, or even a dedicated external master clock. Keep in mind though that certain devices might impose limitations as to who can be the clock master. So these are the basics of SPDIF. If you have more questions or need any help, leave us a comment. Or even better, come and join our Discord server. The link is in the description. And if you want to learn more about analog and digital connections, watch this video where we talk about a bunch of them and what they can be used for. See you next time on Mixed Signals. Bye-bye.